Sam Davis and I'm a food technologist. I do a bit of product development, I do a lot on the technical side of the food industry. First of all, I went to catering college as soon as I finished school, so my love for food was there from a, an early age. So I just, the, the interest has just developed and instead of just cooking, I thought, oh, there's something bigger and better out there for me and that's where it all started. We are in the chemistry laboratory in the South Canal Greenleys. I um, started in this lab, um, in the chemistry lab, um, carrying out analysis on the milk as it can, came in and also on the finished product as well. When I started working here, I worked um, for a few years and then the company sponsored me to um, work towards the food science and technology qualification and that's how I am where I am today. I like the variety and there's no day the same. It's, um, it's, it's a developing industry and it's exciting as well. The public mainly are not aware of all the technical aspects or the technical side of the business. So really, just to cut a long story short, is to make sure that the food that you eat is safe to eat. It all starts with like a quality management system based on the principles of HACCP, which is Hazard Analysis at Critical Control Point. And there it gives you the basis of the backbone of the business and then everything is risk assessed from there really. Um, from sourcing the raw materials, through product development, through to um, factory trials, labelling even, and then um, until the product reaches the shelf. In order to keep on top of the game, you have to make sure that you do attend training courses because legislation and things changes every time, so it is important. Ekin Kekin here is a, a development kitchen for the, uh, for the community to use here in, on the Clean Peninsula. Um, it is a resource to help people to produce their own products. Today we're going to make um, lemon posset with a twist, adding some raspberries, something that I did assist in developing for large supermarkets in the UK. We've got people um, that make cakes, cupcakes, um, some are interested in making things such as pate, jams, we've got, we've got all sorts of people so I think it is, it will be quite um, busy in the next coming months. I also work as a mentor for Cowine which helps people to start their own business from scratch. I can help them with uh, the development side of the business, any technical aspects, labelling. I would say a basic food hygiene qualification is, is the basis of what you need. You need um, commitment is another factor as well and I think all the help is out there. You just need to shout and we'll come out to help you. The science and the, the technology behind food is paramount, I think, for the food industry to develop. I am also registered as a training centre, so I can go out and to offer food establishments, hotels, uh, food manufacturing places, um, to deliver um, food safety, HACCP, and health and safety level two and three. So I think the uh, score on the door, as they call it, is a great tool and it gives people information about the place that they are about to go in to eat. I am just about to embark on another journey. Um, I am going to be studying a master's degree in food technology for industry. The goal is then um, just to further my skills and to help me develop myself personally. I want to be um, travelling different countries and going around auditing various uh, food manufacturing establishments. I think we're doing great but there's, there's a gap there still and we need to fulfil that gap. Well we've got all the primary produce in Wales, we've got many farms, we've got, we've got all sorts of stuff so I think I can't just pinpoint one thing, I think we can develop everything that we grow in this country into something that we can buy off the shelf. I'm so passionate about food, it's, um, I can't think of anybody else, it's like an obsession. <laughs>